will make two arms in total. Wrap the yellow yarn around your knit finger and then bring it up to index finger. Work into a match ring, make loop around your mid finger, and pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and mid finger. Insert hook into the loop of mid finger, yarn over the hook and pull up loop. A match ring is formed on the mid finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, and then work six in crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work six in crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Mark the first single crochet. Continue to work for more single crochets in the same way. Six and crochets are done. Remove the magic ring from the finger. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Insert the hook into the marking stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook now. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the ring loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch and then work six increases. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Then work six increases. Increase means working two some crochets in the same stitch. We'll work the first increase in the stitch where we just worked the slip stitch of last round. Work two some crochets in each stitch. First, work one some crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first some crochet. Work one more some crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Continue to work five more increases in the same way. We need to work two some crochets in each stitch.
Finally, work on slip stage. We can see there are two wheel shapes here. One is the slip stage of previous round, and the other one is the chain stage of this round. They are not counted into the number of stages. Skip these two wheel shapes and work one slip stage in the market stage. Okay, round two is done. The stitches for rounds three to six are all the same. In rounds three to six, work one chain stitch to have some crochets and one slip stitch for each round. We'll demonstrate round three here. Work one chain stitch first, then work one some crochet in each stitch. There will be twelve some crochets in total. We have some crochets are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round three is done. Please finish rounds four to six for yourself. Work one chain stitch to have some crochets, then one slip stitch for each round. Round six is done. Put this yarn tail inside the fabric. In round seven, start with one chain stitch, then work set of two some crochets, one decrease for three times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Work two some crochets. Mark the first zone crochet. Next, work one decrease. Insert hook through the front loops of the next two stitches. Yarn under the hook and pull the yarn through the two front loops on the hook. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. One decrease is done. Work to some crochets and one decrease as one set. Keep working two more sets. The second set. Work to some crochets. Then work one decrease. The third set, work to some crochets. Then work one decrease. Finally, work one snip stitch in the first stitch. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Pull the yarn tail out. Take 
take out some fabric fill, tear the fabric fill to make it fluffy, and then stuff the fabric with fabric fill. This should be what it looks like when it's done. Thread the needle with the yarn tail. Sew her closed by stitching through the front loop solely of the last round. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the hole. One arm is completed. Please crochet the other arm in the same way.